Hello everyone, this is Short Bites. My name's Oakley, and welcome to the Overwatch Summer Games update. For this, the second Summer Games update, I'm going to be looking at the skins and stuff again. Um, but this time, I'm not going to make a fool of myself and talk about character backstory when I don't actually know the character backstory. How she, when she learned to dance and like whether it was like a big part of her life or not, you know. Um, and this time I also have a skin scoring system for judging and giving my opinion on the new skins. So, let's get into it. Oh, look at that. Look, they're all there already. Holy moly. Alright, here we go. Junkrat. Cricket. Very nice. Okay. So, oh, he's got a little kangaroo stapled to his butt. I like that. Very traditional Australian colours there. And the first thing I have for my scoring system is does it suit the character? And I'm giving each of the... I've got five scoring systems. So the first one is does it suit the character? Second one is creativity. The third one is appeal. So like aesthetically pleasing and all that. Fourth one is convention... Con conventionality and the fifth one is practicality okay so for the first one does it suit the character I'm gonna give it a 10 because obviously Australia loves their cricket Junkrat's Australian it fits in perfectly creativity yeah I mean I'm gonna it's pretty creative like you, you can't admit like creative creativity is everywhere in Overwatch so I'm gonna, but I mean it's not the most creative thing so I'm gonna give it a 7 for creativity and I'm gonna give it a 8 and a half for appeal conventionality so I'm gonna give it a I'm actually gonna give it a 9 for conventionality and practicality yeah I mean if he's playing cricket that ma that face mask is going to be pretty practical because it'll stop the ball from hitting him in the face and hurting him. Um, and his peg leg probably wouldn't be very practical for cricket though, especially with those massive nails through it. That looks very dangerous. So I'm going to give it a five for practicality. Oh, I see he's got cricket balls as his grenades. Very clever. All right, here we go. Lifeguard. Lifeguard McCree. Fancy that. I mean, this is the first time we've seen McCree with his shirt off, and I must say he is looking very in shape. What a sexy man. His hair is blonde, I'm not sure I like the hair, the blonde hair. Does it suit the character? I'm going to say no on this one, only because McCree is a, <laughs> like a cowboy and this is way out of his like era, kind of, so I'm going to give that a 3 on the suit the character even though he does look damn fine creativity yeah it's pretty creative um, they've used they've made his gun look like a flare gun I guess I don't know why a lifeguard would need a flare gun but anyway yep so I'm gonna give it a 8 on creativity appeal very appealing who could resist that bod 10 on appeal conventionality Pretty unconventional for the Overwatch universe, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go for a low three on conventionality there. Practicality. Um, I mean, if he's doing lifeguard duty, um, he looks extremely practical for doing that. So nine and a half for practicality on lifeguarding. But if he was a cowboy, that's like a one on practicality. Actually, no, make that a make that a minus five on practicality for being a cowboy so there's his flare gun oh it's called the desert seagull <laughs> oh, that's cool <laughs> I like that all right winged victory wow very nice beautiful looks kind of um, a Greek um, goddess or something does it suit the character? Yes, it does suit the character a lot. I'm going to give that a 10 on suiting the character. I'm going to say that's pretty creative. I'm going to give it a 9 on creativity. Appeal, another 10. Conventionality. 
Um, yeah, it's pretty conventional with the whole um, angel kind of theme they have going with Mercy. Uh, so that's an 8. Uh, well, I can't really... I don't know how to judge this one on practicality. Because like, she hasn't... I mean, I guess if she's a... If she's doing some kind of sport, like marathon or something, it looks very unconventional. Because uh, of these long things and those high heels that don't actually look like they have fronts. It's just her toes sticking out. <laughs> actually, that's kind of... I just noticed that. <laughs> that's like half a shoe. I'll give it a uh, 5 on practicality. Her staff looks pretty cool. Her gun's got some nice decals on it. Biker. Holy crap. This kind of goes with soldiers, um, daredevil type skins. Does it suit the character? Yes, it does suit the character, um, but not huge, like not as much. So I'm gonna go. I'm only gonna give it a six for suiting the character. Pretty creative. Um, I'm gonna give it another six on creativity. It is pretty good on appeal. Six. On appeal. He's, he does look kind of funny with that helmet on though. Next we have convention... <clears throat> I always mess this word up. Conventionality. Conventionality. I don't even know how I'm scoring conventionality. Is it better to have a higher score or a lower score? I think it's better to have a lower score on conventionality because you want it to be unconventional and something new. So I'm going to give it a 5 on conventionality. And practicality, I'm going to give it a 10. Because he looks very, very prepared for riding motorbikes um, and getting getting some sick stunts in. All right, okay, Grill Master seventy six. Oh my gosh! Wow. Okay, they're definitely sticking in the dad vein. Oh. My gosh, they've given him socks with sandals. Oh, this is my favorite skin so far out of this update. Oh, very dadly. I need to add a new category that's each time that's how dadly is Soldier 76. He's got beers strapped to his arm. Wow, okay. So, suits the character. Yes, it suits the character. I'm going to give it a 9 for suiting the character. Creativity, I'm going to give it a 10 for creativity. Perfect, I love it. Appeal, another slamming 10. Conventionality, 5 for conventionality. I feel like I'm giving a lot of 5s for conventionality. Oh well, I kind of wanted to just have 5 points of judging. Just to, I don't know, 5 seems like a better number. Anyway, I'm going to give it a 6 for practicality. Because I'm going to, I'm going to start judging this one in terms of combat. In combat, very, very unpractical. I mean, not very, but I mean, because he's got the gun and the knife and everything, but you know, a lot less practical than some of his other skins. Holy crap. This looks like one of Junkrat's weapons. Salt rifle? Oh no, assault rifle. Oh, well done. Yeah, see what you did there. Uh, yes, and his, oh, his healing thing looks like diet like a little Pepsi or something. <laughs> Diet heal up. Oh my. <laughs> Tulum. Tulum. I don't know how to say that. Whoa. Oh, she's got flippers. She's like a scuba... Oh, she's a snorkeler. Right. Nice. Okay. So. Yeah, I reckon it suits the character. Not amazingly. Uh, I'm going to give it a 6 for suiting the character. Creativity, I'm going to give it a 9. Appeal, this one's not actually that appealing to me. Um, some of you probably really like it, but to me, it's not the best, so I'm going to give it a 3 for appeal. I'm going to give it a 8 for conventionality, because it's not, which is a good score, because it's not your most conventional skin. It's actually, it will go well with um, Winston's, like, Frogston, or, you know, one of those scuba diving skins that he has. And practicality on the battlefield. I mean, if there was a map that had water, it's going to get a 10 for practicality. 
um, but there are no maps with like underwater so it still gets fairly practical though because she still looks very combat ready so I'm gonna give it an 8 for practicality her gun does look pretty damn sweet though here we go the one you've probably all been waiting for this one no joking <laughs> Well, that is a sight to behold. Holy moly. I think this is the most skin Widowmaker has ever shown. I mean, I know that's hard to believe. She does show a lot of skin, but this is definitely the most. Um, and she's looking sexy as ever. Her hair is very nicely done. It kind of clips through her gun, as usual. <laughs> Okay, so, she's going to get a 10 for suiting the character, because I reckon that suits her beautifully. Um, it's actually, that will go well with um, the cruiser skin for D.Va. Yes, I know, I, I know how I always do this, I always compare the two skins that say and say that they'll go well together, but I like doing that. Uh, creativity. Um... I think it's it's not that great on the creativity front. Um, it's still going to get a six though. Appeal ten, straight up ten for appeal. Love it. Conventionality. Um, it's fairly unconventional for a skin, so I'm going to give it a another eight for conventionality. Um, practicality on the battlefield. It is going to get a two. Uh, because unless she's undercover, like a, like a James Bond scenario, um, at like a beach, which sounds like something she would do, um, it would be pretty unconventional. So it's getting a two for conventionality. I mean, for practicality. And her gun, oh, her gun kind of looks steampunky. Oh no, it looks like an AK-47 of some kind. I see what they've done there. Yeah, they've made it look kind of reminiscent of like the front of an of an AK. Very cool. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know if you think my scores were accurate, um, or berate me about my opinion. Up to you. I don't mind. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.